Welcome to the Smugsy Show. I'm Smugsy, your host, identifying as the Barstool Cougar. Every Wednesday, you can meet me right here and we'll talk about important things that you care about and important people. My pronouns are first and third person. Next week, Thanksgiving marks the one year anniversary of Smugsy being banished from the Kirk Minahan Show. She, I, and yeah, we were kicked out of the show. We were really beloved parody account, character, P1. I was the token intellectual of the show. And because I spoke out against Kirk's idiot, blind sidekick, Mike, when he did a very disturbing, perverted interview of his mother on Thanksgiving, I was banished from the show. It was like, Blind Mike does this interview of Mama Geary. It's like an Oedipus complex of a f- obese, fat comedian. I mean, how m- do you think that has legs? I don't think so. So not only is the show going nowhere, if that's the content, right? But clearly broke the bounds of decency. So I wrote about it. I wrote a piece. Thousands of people read it. The piece was called Kirk Minahan, Be a Man with Pants, and it was the equivalent of Martin Luther in 1517, you know, nailing onto the church door his 95 theses denouncing the moral bankruptcy of the Catholic Church. The priests were, you know, charging people um, money <laughs> and promising that in return, they would spend less time in purgatory. I mean, it was a total scam. And so Martin Luther called it out, just like Smugsy called out the moral bankruptcy of Blind Mike's interview of Mama Geary, and she was banished. Um, however, the numbers tell the story. The Smugsy show is going strong. Smugsy is to the Kirk Minahan show essentially what Chris Krebs is to the Trump administration. He's the, you know, cybersecurity expert who was fired yesterday by President Trump for saying that there was no election fraud because there was no election fraud. But he was banished, fired. You know, he and I, okay, we're not we're not going anywhere. Krebs and Smugs were We're going to continue to speak truth to power. Um, Kirk Minahan, Blind Mike, still searching for meaning. You know, it seems so obvious in Blind Mike's case, you know, you need to respect your mother and you need to apologize. Okay, Kirk Minahan, you know, your purpose is to create a modern day soap opera with cult-like features to maximize the monetization of it. And, um you know, give a platform uh, for the voice of another angry white guy. It's, I mean, like a cookie cutter mold, kind of. I mean, you've seen it. You can you can do it. Um, the purpose of the Smugsy Show should be abundantly clear, and that is to bring common sense and a moral compass to the Barstool Sports community from somebody, you know, seasoned like Smugsy. Um, you know who else is searching? Searching for meaning this week in the world of Barstool Sports is our beloved Erica Nardini, the CEO. On her token podcast this week, a token CEO podcast that could have easily been called Nardini Navel Gazing, Erica Nardini questioned the value of her podcast. And I thought it was interesting um, and telling that... In the ad read during that podcast, Erica Nardini was doing an ad for Macy's. She was describing how happy she was that she could shop all day online during a Zoom meeting at Macy's and then, you know, just pop out the door in her Manhattan office and step over the streets that are littered with homeless people. That was her language, littered with homeless people. She'd have to step over them. Um, And, you know, on her way to pick up her precious bundles of blazers and PJs. Mm. 
if they're not coming for me. I'm in my studio in Portland, Maine. It's dark and cold, but don't worry. I'm not afraid. I don't want you to be afraid. So back to Erica. If you think about it, her problem is she wants to find meaning and value in her podcast. And how about, you know, I'm going to think outside the box a little bit since I am the former token intellectual of the Kirk Minahan show and she is the token CEO of Barstool Sports. So essentially we're related. So I was thinking outside the box and wondering if maybe a, um, let's see, I had take out the trash, token take out the trash campaign where like stoolies could you know take out take take them out um be good good on social if there's you know um you could keep score how many you know how many pieces of trash you take out or um why not recycle recycle these people i mean they've got to have a couple of good parts maybe you know an appendix um i don't know a bladder a lot of people need bladders so we could maybe really the opportunities are endless in terms of recycling some of these people um, they've got to have a few working parts so we could turn them into a water bottle stoolies with spears you know could wear merch walk around the streets of Manhattan just kind of you know spear them put them in um, clean up the streets so there's Erica Nardini, if you're listening, I think there is purpose to your podcast, Um, you know, add value to the enterprise by being part of the solution. Um, Look what, look what Kirk Minahan's doing for vets. So I encourage the Token CEO podcast to approach homelessness in the same way. We talked about the purpose of this show in addition to, you know, providing this kind of intellectual food for thought good humor and common sense moral compass and you know pedigree good taste etc we also every week identify a cougar of the week and this week's cougar is none other than Kim Ong Kim Ong the first woman first Asian American woman to be the general manager for a major league baseball team the Miami Marlins. Congratulations. Huge achievement. Kim Ong, remarkably similar to Kim Ning, who Erica Nardini dedicated her entire podcast to this week, um, who also is the first general manager of a major baseball league. So Kim Ong and Kim Ning, Congratulations, and that's it for me this week. Until next time, this is Smugsy signing off. Please follow me on Twitter at Smugsy Girl. Make a comment on the YouTube page. Subscribe to the show, and have a great week. Take care.